Hey, what is up you guys? It's Mandalee and I am back today with a exciting let's play for you guys. This is going to be a temporary let's play that I'm just going to do um, one or maybe two episodes of for Christmas. And what we are doing today is we are actually playing with Santa Claus and his lovely wife Rebecca and their daughter Priscilla. So I actually did a create a sim video about the Claus family a um, few weeks ago. And if you guys want to watch that, I will link it right here and in the description. But, and in that video, I even talked about, well, maybe the reason Santa br wants to bring presents to all the kids in the world is because him and his wife couldn't have kids of their own. And, um, you know, that was maybe kind of why they were inspired by that. So that was kind of my storyline that I made when I created them. And I made them elders. Um, but as you can see, they are now a lot younger, and I kind of actually reinvented the storyline a little bit because I wanted to do a Let's Play with them, so I kind of just started to ponder what could I do that would grab people's attention and be interesting. And I got started thinking about Santa and just like all his abilities, and obviously he's like magical, and so I kind of started thinking like maybe he's a superhero of some type, and superheroes always have an origin story. So I thought that maybe I would make... Um, Santa's origin story is what I'm kind of doing and you know this is going to be kind of casual it's not super over the top as far as setting the stage and stuff goes because I am really busy right now pre-recording videos for when I'm out of town for two weeks for Christmas as I've mentioned in a few of my other videos so don't you know don't hold me to it too much if there's stuff that's not um, super consistent or whatever like I said but basically this is my origin story for Santa and Mrs. Claus ideally in my mind this would take place like sometime in the past but that's probably just not really gonna happen so we'll just call it an alternate timeline it's just too hard to find like period clothing and stuff for something that's this limited time like I'm only like I said I'm only gonna do one or two episodes so it's just really low-key and just kind of a fun thing that I thought would be interesting to play so this is Priscilla and she's a teenager and this is Santa and Mrs. Claus's daughter. As you can see, she is so gorgeous and um, she actually is just purely genetics. I didn't do any manipulation of her beyond just doing like the play with genetics thing and um, this was the person that came up and I just was so blown away by how pretty she was. So that's Priscilla, and she is actually a little bit naughty. So she, her aspiration is Chief of Mischief. It looks like she's actually going right now to do a mean interaction with her dear mother, Mrs. Claus. So that's kind of sad. <laughs> oh good, no, she changed it to just chatting. Um, but maybe I will do like act tough or something like that. This is Priscilla's bedroom. And then, um, you know what, I'm going to actually go ahead and... Turn the volume down a little bit. Audio, I'll put it at 50. Okay, there we go. So, um, like I said, Priscilla is naughty. She wants to be the chief of mischief and her traits are um, that she is a kleptomaniac, she's hot-headed, and then she has the bonus trait from her aspiration, which is dastardly. So, this is kind of like what I was thinking about um, of what Santa's origin would be. They obviously live in this gorgeous, stunning, Georgian-style Christmas mansion, which you can see me build on my channel. I will link that. Um, and obviously, there's a lot of wealth in this family just because of how pretty this house is and just, you know, a lot of opulence and stuff. So, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I have a little bit of a frog in my throat. But what I was picturing was Santa being like the executive over a toy company. And um, so he has built a lot of wealth that way. And oh no, Flurry would like a nice clean litter box. I wonder if he can't to get to this one. Sorry, I'm just going to go ahead and move it really quick. I'm going to just put it in Priscilla's bedroom. Just so Flurry can hopefully access it easier. Um, but like I said, um, this house is very opulent and wealthy and such. So, um, you know, he's built a lot of wealth by becoming a toy company executive and, um, Priscilla has kind of obviously been spoiled through her childhood because of that. 
So um, that's the storyline that I kind of invented in my mind and I think I kind of just wanted to make this origin of like just a little bit of a fun backstory um, where maybe the reason that Santa decided to become Santa Claus and I don't know if he maybe had some kind of like accident that made him magical or what happened there but he decided that he was going to reward all the kids in the world that were good and punish the kids that were naughty because he had a naughty girl and um you know was hurt by that i guess you could say so i think i'm gonna have priscilla actually like run away from home and stuff like that oh bako jang wants to go <laughs> to the humor and hijinks festival with mrs claus um i don't think we're gonna do that but actually you know what i think priscilla might want to go to that so let's pull that up and she can meet some people as well I think she'll just go by herself and she would kind of just be like mom and dad i'm going out to do this thing and you guys can't come because i don't think they would be into humor and hijinks so i think that mrs claus and santa have a very happy marriage and they together are very happy but obviously they went wrong somewhere with their daughter priscilla so i think that that brings them a lot of sadness because i think they just had this picture of this idealistic um family and what i said in when i was doing the creation of the claus family i think still holds in that i said maybe they had some fertility troubles i think that that's still true um and you know maybe priscilla was the one daughter that they were finally able to conceive after trying for so long so maybe that makes it even more devastating the fact that she kind of didn't turn out exactly how they would have imagined her just sending off some I love the humor and hijinks festival just like aesthetically it's one of my favorites I think with the green or I mean the blue and the yellow I think it's cute so I'm gonna have her drink the mischief tea because she needs to do 10 mean or mischievous interactions and be disliked by two sims so I think this is the perfect opportunity to kind of do that and meet some people and see what we can do so let's see Diego Lobo who do we have here see this is just like a um oh my gosh I think that that is their butler <laughs> yeah that's their butler that's hilarious so their butler is at the festival as a jokester um she's looking really good on her needs actually so that's nice because I will be able to focus Oh, Wolfgang is here. I always love Wolfgang because he's just such like your typical bad boy and he's a teen. Maybe I will have them talk and get to know each other a little bit and maybe they could even end up dating. And that might be like the, um, sorry, I feel like it's so loud right now. I'm going to turn it down even more. Um, audio, um, maybe I'll turn that down. And then I'll just turn everything down a little bit. I just feel like it overwhelms the my voiceover when it's so loud. Okay, but Diego, like I said, maybe I'll just have them kind of get to know each other. Um, first, I'll just ask him if he's single. Get my foot in the door a little bit. And then let's talk about, we'll complain about our parents. Oh, they're such goody goods. Um who i don't want to i think she would be friends with morgan too maybe she should join the renegades because they're both in the renegades wolfgang is single okay let's talk to priscilla let's do this ask about prize possessions <laughs> and then let's do some of these imply tea sabotage she acquired the mischief skill that's good I like how Diego is wearing, or wait, no, that's Wolfgang. I like how Wolfgang is wearing these tiny shorts and tank top with like formal shoes. <laughs> it's an like interesting look for sure. He's so cute though. I don't love the eyeliner on him, but I think he is a cute Sim. And I think he's just like the bad boy that Priscilla would be after. <clears throat> so let's see, let's do maybe I just don't want them to do a flirty interaction with Morgan there, too, because I think it'll get awkward. But maybe she could boast about messing around. The pranksters are in the lead by five. Keep performing interactions for your team to earn points. That is good. Oh, no, he's embarrassed. He didn't like that for some reason. 
Okay, let's, um, can we do like a smooth recovery? Sometimes you can do that. Or just like apologize. Well, let's just go with some regular friendly interactions. Okay. He's mean, so she is mean as well, I believe. So I think that that would... Oh, she's not mean, but she's hot-headed and she's a kleptomaniac. Okay. So let's have them talk a little bit more. Oh, no, they're having a bad interaction. That's not what I want. I want them to be friends. Because I think they would like each other and get along. Maybe... A let's see. Friendly... Um, maybe I'll just have them stargaze a little bit because that would probably help their friendship go up. And I was actually going to have her just join the renegades really quick too because I think that will... Oh, she has to apply for an invite. I always love how Max, the little kid, is the leader <laughs> of the renegades. <laughs> but I think I will have her join this. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow. But I think it'll start, an, start a club gathering right now since it's the apply for invite thing. So I don't necessarily want to do that just because we're at this event. But let's see. Oh, look, she's doing voodoo. <laughs> she's hugging her voodoo doll. Okay, good. See, it's bringing their friendship up quite a bit. The pranksters are in the lead by five. That is good. I want them to fall in love. Why are we still having an awkward encounter? Let's um, ask about day. What else could we do? gossip a little bit oh is that is she the other one that's in the Ulrich I think Ulrich yeah Ulrich Faust I like all her tattoos okay so they're doing that for quite a while I'm gonna stop that interaction and have them just chat a little bit more I like how <laughs> I like how Jeffrey Landgrab is here just eating spicy pho um funny see no I don't want to do funny stuff because oh good they're back to casual discussion that is good let's have them discuss interests and imply jokester sabotage and see what he does to that and then maybe I'll have her buy a festival t-shirt too buy some swag Look at Jeffrey doing voodoo. That so does not fit his personality. <laughs> I feel like he's always such like a goody good and just like such like a plain guy. That's so funny though. I love how our nanny is here. That cracks me up. We're still in the lead by five. That's good. Okay, they're having a pleasant conversation. So maybe I will do a little bit of a flirt and see how it goes. Yeah, let's see what happens if I flirt. What time does this festival end? I think it's pretty late. Like, maybe... Oh, it's over. Perfect. Oh, good. She got a voodoo doll. And $500. Wow. Here go the fireworks. Oh, cute. Okay, but I still want her to talk to... I still want her to do like at least a few flirty interactions with him. Maybe I'll have them exchange numbers. Don't say goodbye to her. Just go ahead and exchange numbers with our good buddy Wolfgang. Did she do it? Oh, they're still doing it. Okay. That usually gives like a pretty good mood light and a pretty good boost on romance. So let's see if that will work for us. Oh my gosh, they're embarrassed again. Okay, I guess we'll just go home for the night and try again tomorrow. I'm going to have her join the Renegades, I think, tomorrow. And then I think that she will, um, we'll see if we can get in there. And that will help their relationship a little bit too. Okay, so go back to your home. And, um, I think that... Maybe they like just moved a little bit and so she's kind of going through a rebellious phase because I think she that is kind of what she's doing is kind of discovering herself. I think she's always been a little bit naughty, but it's kind of been more toned down since she was a kid and, you know, a toddler. And obviously most toddlers are going to have their naughty moments. Trust me, as the mom of a toddler, I know that. <laughs> 
but um, as a teen it starts to maybe manifest a little bit more so all right let's just have her go ahead and go to sleep I wonder where they're I wonder if the butler is back because um, oh good so mrs. Claus is sleeping and Santa is eating some chili that's okay Santa you can do that buddy but I wonder if the butler's back here from the festival. I don't see him anywhere obvious. Hmm. Is he skipping out on us? I wonder if I, like, do this. Can you hire more than one butler? I don't think you can. Oh, yeah, so we do apparently still have him. But he's just out on the town, it looks like. Well, that's okay. Butlers need to have fun, too. Oh, is that him? Yes, here he comes. Here he comes, back to do his butler service. Okay, and then Santa, after you're done eating that, let's have you go to the restroom, and then he can go to bed. And then we can just speed through till the morning. Alrighty. I think that I might have Priscilla ditch school tomorrow and do the club gathering. Um, instead of going to school. So we'll do that in the morning, just whenever she wakes up. But I think I will have her ditch school. One thing that I don't like about having a butler on the lot is that, number one, they almost never sleep. It's crazy. Like, they sleep, like, once every three days, I feel like. And then the second thing is it doesn't let you do the ultra speed through the night. So I think I'll just go ahead and cut ahead from this point to the morning when Priscilla wakes up. Okay, it is the morning and Priscilla has just awoken for the day, so I'm going to have her start getting ready a little bit. Um, first, I will have her... Oh, she's coming down to get some food, so I guess that we'll just go with that. Is this good still? Yeah, it is. So she can grab a serving of that. Oh, she was already going to grab something else. Well, that's okay. Mrs. Claus is also awake. She's looking pretty good, so she's just going to hang out. She's going to watch the cooking show since she's so into cooking. Flurry is still okay for some reason there's something weird that happens when you have a litter box and you move into the house at least in my experience the cat does not recognize the litter box and won't use it um so let me just buy a new one and see if that will fix the problem okay because he won't use the litter box and i mean he has food he has everything else so that must be what it is Okay, turn on all the lights for the day. Um, let's have Mrs. Claus ask Flurry what's wrong. Oh no, he's sick. Oh, they're gonna go to the vet clinic then. We need to take care of our little kitty. Poor guy, I thought he just wasn't using the litter box. Okay, school for Priscilla starts in an hour. That's okay, she can go in the morning and then maybe after we're done with the vet clinic, taking care of Flurry, she can, um, go ditch school and start a club gathering so they're gonna go to the vet clinic mrs claus and flurry and poor little guy is it a boy or a girl i can't even remember honestly <laughs> i think it's a boy i'll have to check after this although it's impossible to check unless you actually go into create a sim because there's no like panel of any kind for the I like how Clara Bjergsen and um, Mortimer Goth are working here. <laughs> Alrighty, let's go ahead and check in. Let's go ahead and sign Flurry in for curing sickness. See, normally when they're sick, they visually you can see it. So I wonder what's wrong with... Oh, he has fleas, it looks like. Dang it, poor Flurry, so sad. Um, maybe we should purchase him a treat as well, just since he's been a good boy. Okay, wait for vet, get pet examined, receive treatment. I've actually never been to the vet with a pet as a customer, so this will be interesting, my first time doing this. I love cats and dogs. If I could recommend one expansion, it would probably honestly be that one. Um, I'll just get him a nice wellness treat. I have seen... This is crazy. The poop randomizer, sometimes the poop will be gold bars that you can sell for like $35,000. Maybe I'll get one of those too, just for fun, because I've never tried it. But I've seen a few people do that, and it's been crazy. 
Okay, Priscilla's angry, but she should be heading to school pretty soon. And Santa is just chilling. Should I get him a job? He doesn't have a career, but maybe I should. I don't know which one I would do. Um, I don't know which one I would do. Okay, it looks like Flurry is going back to the exam table. So why don't we have Mrs. Claus go ahead and sit in here as well? Because I think she would definitely want to stay with her little baby. Um, Justin and this dog is so cute. Blue, I think his name is. Yes, so cute. And then I think this is, yeah, this is Cleo and Katarina Lynx. Katarina Lynx has like four cats. So when I was like doing the vet career for a little bit, just kind of seeing the functionality and stuff, she was literally in like three times a day <laughs> with a different cat every time. Okay, so the pet's getting examined. I'm going to go ahead and just speed, speed this part up. Oh, okay. It looks like Flurry has three ring flea circus. Which treatment option would you like? Let's do the expensive treatment. They definitely have the money to spare. Oh, little Flurry. Oh, I'm so glad he's feeling better. Okay, and then let's give him a treat. Give vet treat. Let's give him the wellness treat just to make sure, make extra sure that he's feeling better. Poor Flurry. I actually, that's like I said, that's the first time I've had a pet of mine get sick. So that is sad, poor guy. But there's a little treat for you, Flurry. And then I'm going to go ahead and just have them travel back home. And then we will have Priscilla um, do her thing. So we're back in Windenburg. And here we are. Okay. Bring Flurry with you. And I'm trying to decide if I want to have Santa get a job. So I am actually going to go ahead and leave this part here just for the sake of time. And I'm going to post the next Let's Play episode where Priscilla joins the club, the Renegades, um, and has some fun with them. I will post that actually tomorrow. So make sure you guys watch out for that. Subscribe to my channel and like this video and have an awesome day.